Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. So, today we are revisiting, I, I, you know, I guess we are revisiting them, technically, uh, though this is a new item from Taco Bell, but it is the first time that I've been to Taco Bell in quite a while. I mean, it has been a lot longer than I thought, because I know there used to be a time when I was doing like a Taco Bell review every other week, and then I, I, I don't know what happened, but they're still releasing new things. They still have new promos and ideas and, you know, items being uh, strewn about uh, carefully, not, not recklessly, should be clarified. And uh, this is their newest promotion, something that I want to try out, because there was an idea, it came to me, and I thought, you know, I want to, uh, I, I want to see if this really holds, holds true to the standards. Okay, there's a plane going by, it's probably the Taco Bell surveillance team right there. Taco Bell has released what they call the Grande Nachos Box. Now, first and foremost, there's a lot of debate going around uh, with the name. People are trying to say, well... Is it named after Ariana Grande, or is it a homage to the uh, Starbucks beverage? You know, if you want to Grande this or that. So, people are trying to figure that out. I really am undecided there. But, needless to say, this is a $5 deal where you get a box of nachos and a medium drink. Now, you might be saying at first, all right, well, you know, what's the big deal? What's so special about it if it's just a box of nachos? Well... They don't call them grande nachos for anything. Uh, these are like the most, think of it this way. These are the most souped up nachos you can possibly get, okay? Without bending any rules or, you know, doing any of that stuff. Uh, this is, this is in their eyes anyway, as good as it's gonna get. Now you can get these with beef or shredded chicken. And here's what it comes with, okay? Your nacho chips, you know, the tortilla chips. Uh, this one I got seasoned beef, three cheese blend, beans, nacho cheese, sour cream, guacamole, pico de gallo. Five dollar meal deal. And it's just like saying, we have these nachos. These are supposed to be the best ones for the price. You're getting a little bit of everything. And what they're really emphasizing here in their, in their advertising campaign is they are saying, this is a great deal. A great value and it's something that it might seem shareable but it's all for you you could get it messy you can do anything you want look if you really want to you can wait till the cheese cools and it kind of gets you know into that solid-esque state you could wear it as a little hat and parade around and you can say yeah, this is the latest high fashion and you know you do you but here's what it looks like we're just gonna eat them this time around I was thinking about making them into a lapel pin, but it's not going to happen today. Uh, let's get the autofocus off here. Didn't mean to. There we go. That's what they look like. There you go. Uh, there I am with them. I'm trying to. Good enough. And, uh, I mean, that's what they look like. I mean, you could definitely see. It, it does have a little bit of everything, right? Let me get the focus there. There we go. So you can see there's the, uh, you know, the pico de gallo, guacamole. Um, you can see some of the refried beans right over there. Some of the meat mixed in, the tortilla chips, the sour cream, nacho cheese, three cheese blend, kind of hiding over there. You can see it also around the little outer boundary. And uh, I mean, everything that's there, you know, is supposed to be, which is good. What we're gonna do now, I, I'm never really good with like these big finger food type meals. So what I'm gonna do, I guess I'll just keep it focused like that. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna get a chip. I'm gonna first try it out like this. Get, just get, you know, a little bit of the stuff. And uh, then I'll just, you know, dip it. I'll try and eat it with a fork. I'll try and get a little bit of everything for you and I'll let, it know what it, I'll let you know what it tastes like. So it's the uh, Grande nachos box from Taco Bell going in.
good. So you're getting a little bit of a little bit of stuff there. Hmm. Now this is the super. This is what they call the super nacho. Right there. So it's so powerful it doesn't even focus properly, but we're just gonna I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. Regrets or not, it's it's for you guys. So one thing I got to show you, I've kind of just been skimming the surface, all right? But you see, right here, you start digging down under this, right? And it's layered, okay? So there's more to it than you think, right? You dig down, there's some more beans, there's some meat, okay? So it's not like this is just tons of chips and that's it on the surface. Uh, this stuff goes down. You got to keep that in mind. What I would imagine... This box is probably designed, and I know, I know there's a few of you out there, because Taco Bell knows you even better than I do. You know you go to the movie theater and you want to get some nachos or some chips or something, and they're going to charge you, you know, an exorbitant price. That's assuming we go to the movies still, and I know a few of you do. And you know, you go, you get the chips, and it's like $34.99 plus tip. And you're thinking, come on. Well, now you can sneak these in for the low price of $5, and you're set, you know? You're set. You can... This is made for, for you guys. But of course... All comes down to whether it tastes good or not. Because if it doesn't taste good, then it is, is it really worth it? You know, that's the thing. So here's what it tastes like. It's pretty standard for what it is. And I think that's what we come to expect when it comes down to Taco Bell items. Most of the time, it's standard. Like, it's either by some miracle, I shouldn't say that, but that's how I sometimes see it. It's outstandingly good. Sometimes it's outstandingly bad. And then it's standard. It's like average, you know? It's like what you expect from Taco Bell. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to grade Taco Bell like it's supposed to be some five-star steakhouse. And that this... Uh, seasoned beef was supposed to be some sort of filet mignon or something that's that's not that's not being in touch with reality so for what it is i think it's standard i mean i think it tastes like how you would expect it to taste yes it's not the world's highest quality stuff okay but in terms of portion size you actually get a good amount of meat you get a good amount of the uh, nacho chips you get a good amount of everything maybe i wish there was a little more pico de gallo and uh, maybe a little more of the dipping sauces, but it was nice to see that the meat was layered down there, and uh, I, I was worried. At first, I thought I was getting ripped off again, and it was just going to be the usual, but at least there was a little bit more meat than I uh, than I anticipated, to be quite honest. Uh, but otherwise, the taste is pretty standard. Uh, I mean, it's, it's how you would expect it to taste, right? The guacamole tastes like guacamole. The seasoned beef is... It tastes like the seasoned beef you get on your tacos from Taco Bell. There's, there's no curveballs here. It's not like it's gonna, gonna somehow rise out of the box and, and sucker punch you uh, for some odd reason. That's not gonna happen. No surprises. One thing I would just criticize a little bit on is just how I feel about the, uh, the refried beans. Everything there I can taste for the most part except for those. Like, texturally I could feel them, but it, it just seemed as though they were lacking in flavor, uh, which is obviously, that's an issue. I wish that it was just a little more flavorful, because everything else is there. But then I wanted to taste the refried beans there, too. I wanted to have it complete. I wanted all, all of this stuff to be there. That's the one thing that disappointed me the most, probably, is that of everything that was there, I just... It was kind of tasteless, you know? It was very bland, best way to put it. So that's my, that's my one issue. 
I, I saw someone else got this, and I saw that there was very little seasoned beef, but this one, I mean, it had more than I expected, so I can't really bash them on that, but you have to remember, it's Taco Bell, a lot of it comes down to who's making it, so be wary. Uh, your, your serving size may definitely vary. But otherwise, I mean, I think it's pretty standard for what it is. We got the uh, Baja Blast. It also comes with the medium soft drink of your choice. So, is it worth five bucks? I mean, you get a good amount of, of food, don't get me wrong. I wish it was a little higher quality and taste. To be honest, I think it's worth more around the four dollar range because it's, it's cheap to make. So, I mean, all in all, I think this is more of a $4 item than a $5, but of course, with a meal deal, you know, that's how they that's how they tack it all together, and that's how it is. Uh, but out of 10, what am I going to be rating this? I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, you know, pretty average, standard, uh, run-of-the-mill, but certainly, if you enjoy Taco Bell, you're a Taco Bell fan, and uh, you want to enjoy some of their nachos with a little bit of, you know, that extra, extra zing, uh, then give it a shot, because I think... I think it'll be exactly what you expect for it to be. You won't be blown away, but I don't think you'll be disappointed either. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and thank you for watching this review. I'll see you again in a few days. Do take care.